Thank you, WHO, for striving to put health on the top of the development agenda and for making investing in the healthcare and workforce a key strategic priority. Your efforts have really paid off. Billions of people all over the world now have access to essential health services, medicines and vaccines. Happy anniversary, WHO. The best is yet to come. I join you in celebrating the 70th anniversary of the World Health Organization, a great organization that has helped keep the world healthy and reached out to many people in need all over the world. In this interconnected world, we need organizations like the World Health Organization. Well done and keep it up. The world is crucially dependent on the shared knowledge base on health that WHO provides to all countries and to all actors. WHO is essential for all of us as we promote the highest possible attainment of health across the world. Governments around the world have agreed that one of the key strategies to achieving SDG 3, healthy lives and well-being for all at all ages, is to ensure universal health coverage by 2030. They recognize that when people are healthy, they can go to school, they can work to support themselves and their families, and they can contribute to the development of their communities. SDG 3 will help the achievement of all the other development goals. And in turn, we will achieve SDG 3 if we invest expertise and resources into other sectors as well. This is a true mindset shift of Agenda 2030, and it is this integrated approach that will make our actions impactful and sustainable. I am delighted to join WHO in its call for universal health coverage, everyone, everywhere, and encourage you all to join in this crucial effort. The world needs WHO to ensure uh, better health conditions for many and to reach out to as many people as possible. We wish WHO for its 70th birthday to be effective in promoting health as a basic human right. The world needs WHO as a leader in health to do a few important things of global importance, such as setting standards and norms monitoring and actions on the determinants of non-communicable diseases and the protection of countries from unexpected epidemic outbreaks. I wish WHO to transform itself into an organization that has an integrated approach and systems thinking to health. Its strength lies also in the moral authority that it has developed as the foremost health institution in the world today. And I think that that is no mean feat. It is a rallying strength that WHO can use to sensitize the global community, to engage policy-making officials like parliaments around the world in support of better health outcomes. WHO is a major player in setting strategic health policies depending on the needs and requirements of countries. In Lebanon, the role of WHO is essential in areas of prevention and reduction of risk factors through monitoring and evaluation of nationwide interventions. On the 70th anniversary, I wish WHO many more years of success in facing health challenges all over the world. We have a shared responsibility to achieve health for all as the goal of UHC. We are WHO. 
WHO should support equitable access to health for all populations, especially who are suffering more from emergencies and conflicts. منظمة الصحة العالمية هي ضرورة وحاجة لأنها مؤسسة إنذار للمخاطر التي قد تهدد شعوب الدول وهي أيضا مؤسسة لمعالجة هذه المخاطر أتمنى لمنظمة الصحة العالمية زيادة إمكانياتها في مساعدة الدول وخاصة دول العالم الثالث وأتمنى لها دوام النجاح والارتقاء إلى أعلى المستويات في سبيل خدمة الصحة الإنسانية World Health Organization. For 70 years, you've played a key role in global efforts to promote sexual and reproductive health and rights for all. When women can make informed choices about whether or when to have children, we move one step closer to success in our global goals for health and gender equality and to a fairer, more prosperous world. We at UNFPA congratulate WHO for 70 years of extraordinary progress in advancing health for everyone, everywhere. Congratulations. On behalf of the 20 million nurses that we represent around the world, we'd like to congratulate WHO on the work it has done to date. We recognize that it's a difficult task and without the support, of all organizations, including ICN, healthcare for all will not happen. So we wish them every success in the future. The world needs WHO as an expert in combating disease and improving public health. And we at Rotary International know this firsthand. We've worked with WHO for 30 years in the fight to end polio. Together we have vaccinated millions of children and continue to find and stop polio from spreading. The world is a better, healthier place because of WHO's work over the last 70 years. You have been a great partner to UNICEF Working side by side, we have radically reduced child mortality rates, expanded immunization coverage, improved the nutrition status of millions of children, and gained the upper hand in the battle against polio. Our work together must continue to end the 7,000 preventable newborn deaths that happen every day, to strengthen community health care, and to achieve, finally, our goal of universal health coverage. As we celebrate 70 years of progress and partnership, let us show the world that health for all is not a distant dream, but a practical, achievable, necessary goal.